First, let's start with muscle. You like to prioritize uh, when you place and market steers. Priorities we start with are muscularity, correctness of finish, and then structure. We find that if a good market steer has these three components, they can be successful. When describing muscularity in steers, we've got several steers we're going to be able uh, to show you differences in muscularity. First off, let's start with the yellow steer here. Now when we study muscle and market steers, the first thing you should do when you come up to a class is step at them from behind. You want to stay back 20 to 50 feet away from the class, pan around the whole class, and then take each animal on an individual basis. We want to study them from width to base, their width to skeleton, how far apart their legs and feet are, but also when we get over the top of these animals, we want to study their true muscle shape and expression. So we come up to steer number one, and always remember animals are always numbered from left to right. So steer number one here, the yellow and white steer, when we start studying him for muscle, we step up behind him, and the exhibitor should look over their tops and study for the right kind of width and shape. We want to make sure their rib comes out of their spine with some spring in shape. But we start looking right here behind their shoulder. A good heavy muscle animal will open up very square. Uh, and very expressive right in here behind the shoulder, kind of like this steer does. We want some width there. We like them to be fairly wide over the rib, and of course we want them to be wide and deep in their loin. So as we continue to evaluate muscle on this market steer, uh, we've talked about their top, we talked about the right shape it should be. Now you come down to their hip and their quarter. Again, a muscular steer will be pretty wide set at his pins here. He'll have some width there. Uh, he'll have some shape here to his hip and quarter. And then he'll have some bulge and flare to his stifle area. As we see right here, this steer does a very good job of displaying the right kind of muscle shape. We want some width uh, through his quarter as well. And then as you go to the ground on those animals, you want to see an animal that's got pretty good width of base. He's got some clearness through his hocks. Uh, he doesn't stand with his legs too close together. So this steer is a very, very good example of a steer that's got a muscular shape to his top. He's got plenty of hip and quarter to him as well. He's expressive in his stifle, so we would deem this steer a heavy-muscled animal.